it is your birthday. And I just want to see how I'm treated as a man with hair. Look at Papa's hair. Are you going to come with me to get blue? No. I find myself overjoyed with life. All of it. The good and the challenge. I appreciate it all. So this is what the room looks like when it's like fully set up with like linens and stuff. So it has like- This is the room that we're gonna be in? Yeah. So we don't typically, we would do linens only for carbone. I mean, I yeah. don't care too much, but yeah. I'll just show it to her. But um, I'm sure that- Yeah. The chairs wouldn't be here. They would be all the different chairs. Yeah. So here's the menu. You pick four appetizers, mm -hmm. one pasta, mm -hmm. and three entrees. So does each person order their like they order? It's no, it's family, family style. style. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Yeah, so it's even super better. Easy. Yeah. And then in case when if at the event we feel like we need more food, is that something we can just say like, yes? Okay. And they can just add it on. It's perfect for private events. So Valeria, you're gonna set up this decor thing. I don't need to do it. Yes, I'm meeting with her tomorrow. You setting up a DJ as well? Yeah, I'll find a DJ. Okay. If you have any recommendations, I'll get you recommendations. No, I can get them from here or from ZZ's. Can't call. we just plug my phone into the Bluetooth and do Spotify? Sure. No. no. Really? I don't know why I'm being. Uh, yeah. It's All right. A no. <laughs> okay. It's a no. <laughs> I don't know why, but okay. It's your birthday. I know. It's gonna add to the to the mood. Okay. It's Is the DJ be performing? 000. Is the DJ? It won't be twenty thousand. No, I promise. But even a fraction of that, I considering we, that I have Spotify. It's eight ninety nine a month. No, we can easily. I mean, our DJs why are here like the are prices? like three. Three thousand dollars. Yes. I'm just saying. I can do the same thing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, so we just left uh, Hassalon, which is the venue that we are uh, doing Gary's 50th in. I'm very excited. I feel like Gary doesn't really have uh, the proper terminology to showcase a venue, to like explain a venue, because he went to see it first. So he was just like, yeah, it's a room. There's no windows. I'm just like, what? But now that we've seen it, it's beautiful. It's so classy, super sexy. We're gonna put like candles. Like I already see the decor. It's gonna be really cool. I love the arrangement of the room. I love that it's gonna be like smaller tables, but it feels cozy, everyone's close to each other. And I love the area of the bar. I didn't even know that one was there. Yeah, it's all there. So people can like stand, sit on the sofa. Like you don't have to sit at the dinner table the whole night. Yeah, babe, it's gonna be a nice, it's gonna be nice. I'm, I'm happy that you're happy. I'm excited. You know me, I'm just not, I'm not into this stuff. So what made you like do this? Because, I felt, this because I felt I had to. Really? Yeah. I'm not trying to be negative about throwing this party. I'm just saying that for me, my 35th birthday, I arranged that. That was nice, that was fun. But to me now, I don't know, I just, I have different priorities in life. Like I'm not chasing a party. Right? It's not about chasing a party. It's an opportunity to bring all your friends together and like, and just enjoy I the like night. I like my friends separately. I enjoy my friends when it's like I can give them the proper attention. If I, I'm gonna put 50 people in a room and it actually gives me social anxiety because now I have to run from like group to group and make sure everyone's okay and then I'm sufficiently socializing with each person that I invite because some of these people are flying in from other parts of the world. I know, so, but a lot of people know each other, so. I, I know, but I feel like because they're at my party, I have to give everyone a certain amount of attention. Whereas when we go out separately, let's say we have dinner with another couple, and then the following week we have dinner with somebody else, and then the following week dinner with somebody else. And when we do that, then I feel like I can actually really be present and invest my time into the conversations with our friends. And I can have a good value exchange with them. I can learn something from them. They can learn something from me. But when it's this, when it's like 50 people, it's just, you can't, uh, you, you, you can't, it's just, it's debauchery. I'm happy that we're doing it, so I can say that we're doing it. I'm happy that the kids are coming, um, although they've already complained to me because we're not inviting anybody else's kids. Because the problem is, is if we would have invited even one other person's kids, oh, it's we, gonna be the end. we have to invite everybody's kids. <laughs> I can get away with telling our all of our friends who are coming, because pretty much everybody has kids, right? And I can get away with telling everybody, guys, you can't bring your kids, but I'm bringing my kids. Because they're like, okay, it's his birthday. He wants his kids next to him on his birthday. Right. But now the kids are complaining to me saying, well, why are we going to your party? There's not gonna be any other kids there. We're gonna be bored. But they're going to be there for a little bit and then they'll go home. The next day, we're doing a day at the pool at the beach club. And that's going to be, I'm looking forward to that. But it's the same thing. Like, people can't bring their kids. And I've had people who are, I feel they got offended when I said you can't bring your kids to either party. They kind of got upset at me a little. And the, again, I don't if, think I, so. 
You don't think they got upset? I think they got upset. And the thing is, if we let one kid in that's not ours, that's it. It's a floodgate. All the kids show up. And then it becomes a kid's party. I, I don't know. I go to kid's parties when I have to go to kid's parties. When it's like, we go to birthday parties for other people's kids or our kids. Yeah. Why would we do a kid's party for my birthday? Agreed. Anyways, I want to know how other people handle this whole kids at their birthday thing. <laughs> Hold on a second. You added more elements to this birthday party that didn't exist before. You added a DJ. Okay. Yeah. You added decor. Yeah. So my point with the DJ is, I can I pay eight ninety nine a month for Spotify. Why can't I just put on the Bluetooth, put on the Spotify, put on a playlist, and then it's done? I don't understand the need for all of this. Can you explain it to me so I understand? Because the DJ is going to be like thousands of dollars. So can, can can I understand what's going on? I'm not trying to be difficult. I just want to understand. Yeah, I know you're not trying to. I don't. Diff- all the DJ is going to do is put his phone on the Bluetooth and put his Spotify. Let me think about it. So you added the DJ, you added the decor. What else did you add? Did you add some other stuff? We need someone to take photos. We need a photographer. So it's basically a small wedding. Yeah, it's your 50th. Uh-huh. It's a party. It's a party. We're going to party like Chris. Super- oh, it is your birthday. Woo! Happy birthday, dear Papa. Happy birthday to you. Maxi, blow up again. Are you two? Are you three? That's going to take a while, son. Are you three? 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 Blow up the candle. Are So, uh, I chatted with Valeria, okay. and we decided on the mermaid hair look. Yes. Okay. We are. But really, what I want to know, we is there something that can be done for a yes. bald man? Yes, first, get a lovely piece of best. Maybe not today. Maybe not today. Short okay. notice, you didn't... We can put rhinestones. Of course. I don't know about rhinestones, but can you give me, like, a proper head of hair for an event? Yes. So, if it's event-based. It's called... And it'll look real. And it'll look real. Yeah, it'll look real. Okay, we have to do this. We have to make a right. we have to make a video of us doing this, of actually making like me with with hair and us going out on the town. Do you want it to have like gray hairs or you want it to be like brown? I want it to look natural. 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 It should look natural. Okay. Yeah. So it could be like a salt and pepper to match my beard. Right. But it could be like what do you a think? Little... Shoulder length? Yeah. I don't know. No. Maybe just like a little wing here and yeah. then like a Bradley But how does it but how would it look like would, you wouldn't even notice it. No, I it's a Do you do you glue it onto my head? How do I get it off? It's just with Rip hot water, yeah. <laughs> but how long could I could I leave it on for? It's kind of like a one day. thing. Okay, it's a one day thing because there are some that are yeah. men put on yeah, and I can't do that. Yeah. Okay, good. That's not my thing. Okay, and it'll look real. Yeah. Okay, we have to try this. And I just want to see how I'm treated as a man with hair. With hair? Do you want to? I haven't been friends? I haven't been a man with hair in a long time. How many years? Uh, 15? Okay. Yeah. Listen, I'm excited about this project. Okay. What do you think Max is going to think about the hair? Uh, that'll be, that'll be, nice. that'll be interesting to see. I'm getting, get a uh, hair. Are you getting a hair? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. No, but babe, they're going to do it in a professional way. Yeah, obviously. No, but we're going to make it natural. It's going to match my beard. Yes, I know. Yes, yeah, nice. Maxi, look at Papa's hair. Papa's hair. Oh no, you look, you look, you look. Papa has hair today. Yeah, today Papa has hair. Today is the day. Why Papa has hair? Because uh, we decided to give him hair for no his birthday. Way. What did you say about my hair? That looks fake. Why do you think it looks fake? I can see the back. Say that again? What no, you? it's nothing to do with you. And no, I, but I, everything oh, has to do with me. Okay, okay, right. It's, it's, it's scary there. It's scary there. It's scary there. I'm just yeah. cashing in on the fact that she has to do everything I say. I did this extension in New York, okay? Yeah. And I had a vision for it. And it was cute, cool. 
but I I have to say it looked like I look younger. You know why I look younger? No. Yes. That looks good. That looks great. Yeah. You and Mike looking younger. That's a good day. You look no, like I know, but fresh. I already look right? young. Right? This felt like very young. Or okay. you think I'm... I like it. I just think you see yourself because you used to look like that. Yes. I think it looks great. You think I should do... Should we go? Because this is... I mean, it's going to be different. It's going to look a little bit darker because it's going to be like wet. Style, right? yeah. yeah, first of all, I didn't like that you did see the division, like you saw my hair. Yeah. Okay, and then that, like... I did not like that. Okay. okay, and she's like an amazing stylist, so I'm just wondering if it's just something that's. Did yeah. they cut the extensions? You see, like, oh, you... they're super long. Yeah, this is super long. Yeah, we won't see. Really? Yeah, I'll braid everything. That's what the girls do. I mean... I'm excited yeah. about this idea. How did you match the color? No, they're, they're not, not even what? They're not clippings. Oh my god. Yeah, no, it was glued in. Oh, but I don't have any things to okay. glue that in. I'm sure the oh, kids wow. have, like, glue that they use for their arts and crafts. Okay, but that shouldn't go on my skull. Well, why not? Glue is glue. Do you want me to order the glue on Uber Eats? There's a, there's a place if someone we can send from our How far away is this place from here? This is like exciting. Am I like going? Sure. Am I going on a glue run? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but that's if you, if you. Kids, get ready. We're going to go get glue for Mama. We're getting glue. It's a family affair. We have to glue hair to her head, so we need to go get glue. Maxie, should I go get glue? But she yeah. Be okay. Mad. Ben, will you come with me to get glue? You we already got glue. No, I, I have to get special glue for Mama's head. No, but there's a special glue we have to get so we can glue hair to mama's head. Are you gonna come with me to get glue? Okay, are you gonna come with me to get glue? No! No one's coming with me to get glue, so I'm going by myself to get glue. Ben, are you sure you wanna let your father go by himself? It'd be all sad because nobody's coming with him? Of course not. Okay, so let's go. Thank you, son. Okay, are you gonna come? Yeah. So you, first, let me pack my popcorn. No, you can't take the popcorn in the cart. Okay, so bye bye. Okay, you coming with me? You know what? Fine, 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 fine. Hey, yeah. Celine, I'm going to buy glue. You're gonna buy glue? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, I have to go buy glue now. Good luck. Right. Benny, are you coming with your, me? I have your birthday present. Do you want me to leave oh, it here? Thank or? you. That's very kind Take of you. It. Are you coming with me to buy glue? Of course. Okay, let's go. Yeah, what color glue do you think we should get for Mama's hair extensions? Brown. Brown? So it looks good. Here, I'll drive, babe. Let me drive. You don't think it's strange that we're born to buy glue so we can glue hair to your mother's head? Yeah. Does this sound normal to you? No. Would you ever glue hair to your head? No. <sighs> Especially if it was hair that's been in the toilet. That's been what? In the toilet. Why are you going to bring the toilet into this? I don't know. Me neither. All right. I got the glue. Uh, no problem. Like the one they have in the really? Yes. Did you hear? Is that your real hair? So, this is yeah. yeah. Oh. Everything is real. Did I hear what, babe? That Netflix is opening like uh, offices here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I was saying how I'm kind of yeah. seeing from Miami that's gonna become a hub for like art and like entertainment in a way. You know what I mean? Because if Telemundo has these all like facilities here and they do all the things. Mm -hmm. That's, I think it's going to grow also into like the more American like television and stuff like that. That's incredible. That's my prediction. I don't know if it's going to happen. Well, I think the big winner is going to be me having hair. That, that video is going to be crazy. <laughs> but Gloria I is going to go you're crazy. sexier bald than with hair. Oh, okay. My point is, is if it does look good, and if I get even more attention from women than I do now, then we're going to have a big problem in our marriage. And I, we'll see. Hello. Come show me. No, come. Wow. Look at you. So the blue came in handy, I see. A hundred percent. You look like when we met. Really? Yeah. I didn't have that long hair. No.
is very unlikely. And as I'm looking at this, and I'm realizing how, quite frankly, personal it is, it, you know, it makes me a little nervous, but I've already committed to it, and I know that the people in this room, the music's really throwing me off. I hope they're gonna turn it down. Um, you know, I, I know that the people in this room are, are you okay, Sandra? <laughs> okay, so, um, I'd like to start by thanking everyone for being here. Uh, the fact that you've come here tonight, some of you from far away, uh, others from very far away, uh, some of you who I've only met recently, but have formed a, but have formed a, a meaningful connection with, and some of you who, although we haven't seen each other in years, uh, still managed to be here tonight to honor me uh, on this day. Um, I'd also especially like to thank my family and colleagues who interact with me on a daily basis uh, for your love and for your guidance. Earlier this week, on the eve of my birthday, at 9.19 p.m., I sat up in bed waiting for Valeria as she was flying back from a work trip in New York City. And uh, fortunately, the kids were all in their respective beds, either sleeping or secretly conquering digital worlds on contraband devices. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. With the kids uh, tucked away and Valeria en route, um, I had the rare opportunity to be alone with my thoughts, uh, uninterrupted, and as such, was able to contemplate and document what was going through my mind. So here goes. I pass this milestone with a calm mind and a grateful heart. I contemplate my life and the human experience in general. It took 50 years, and although I have an infinite amount of knowledge to still acquire, I feel I'm finally starting to quote unquote get it. Sorry, son. An event took place over five years ago that accelerated my understanding of the human experience. Now, the last thing I want to do is to be morbid on the day that we've all gathered together to celebrate this occasion. However, the event I'm referring to uh, is a series of conversations I had with my father on his deathbed. Uh, it's truly incredible to witness the wisdom a man realizes as he contemplates the sum of his existence. The conversation that took place was the most profound and meaningful one I'd ever had with him. It was, uh, it was unfortunate that uh, we were only able to have this discussion as his life drew to an end. Um, we discussed the absolute importance of three things. One, friendship. He fondly remembered his friends. Um, over those few days, he often repeated how much he was loved and how much his friends meant to him. Two, career. Uh, he was proud of his professional accomplishments despite the extremely difficult circumstances of leaving Soviet era Ukraine in his mid thirties to start life over again with no English, no money, no connections, and with two small children. And three was family. He told me he loved me. He told me he loved me. Uh, he deeply uh, that he deeply regretted the strain between us, and that he was in fact proud of me. Uh, why am I telling you all of this? Because that conversation recalibrated my thoughts and my actions uh, when it came to my own life. Although the critical importance of all three things, friendship, career, and family, although they're obvious, uh, sometimes we need a gentle and often not so gentle reminder in order to feel, uh, to fully understand and appreciate their true meaning. So today, I find myself overjoyed with life. All of it, the good and the challenging. I appreciate it all. As far as my friends are concerned, uh, I couldn't ask for a better group of friends, both old and new, uh, both old and new. For those of you who have known me for decades, I thank you for your love. Uh, wisdom, support, and loyalty. Uh, for our new friends, uh, thank you for finding something special in us. Uh, thank you for being so welcoming and making my family comfortable um, in these new surroundings. I, I don't know, I sorry, I didn't know what to expect uh, when leaving my lifelong home on a whim, uh, but, we've, uh, but what we found here is truly special and has opened my eyes to endless possibilities. As far as my work is concerned, I find myself in the happiest place I've ever been professionally. What I do is literally the definition of a dream job. I help my wife amplify her God-given voice and talent for the world to see and benefit from. When I'm being my modest self, I say that her notoriety and fame are no big deal. But in reality, when I witness her work and the emotional outpouring from her audience members, when we meet in person, I experience euphoria. Knowing and feeling the positive change she's making in the world brings me a sense of pride and joy second only to witnessing our children blossom. As I mentioned, 
The final thing my father contemplated was family. Anyone here uh, who knows my wife and children know that I'm a four-time lottery winner. What's up? Wait, you are? You are a lottery winner? only known to the Yofi Lipovetsky clan. Um, these people are a bonus that I couldn't be happier with. Uh, truly a group of people willing to do anything for each other. I love you all dearly. You see, although, I'm, I, although I may be 50 years old chronologically, I was actually born in 2011 when I met my wife. I was then born again in 2013 when Jake arrived. 2014 when I 2014 <laughs> when Benjamin made his debut, and uh, yet again in 2018 when Maximus came into the world. Anyone who follows me on Instagram knows from my lunatic-like public rants that my wife is my literal queen. Where's us? <laughs> where, where the princess? Where the princess? My purpose. My heart. My soul. Finding you was finding myself. And because of you, <laughs> I learned how to be a man. Wow. And how Thanks, Toby! <laughs> <Stop. laughs> I, I learned how to be a man and how to love without limits. Considering the height of the pedestal on which I place you, I hope our boys will be able to identify their own worthy partner one day. But thankfully, we're still quite far from having to worry about that, and there's still so much yet for us to accomplish. I'm almost done. So now, when contemplating my life, I truly understand that I have it all. Loyal and true friends, the most satisfying career a man can ask for, a wife and a partner who redefines the limits of love and achievement, and three beautiful boys who are showing me the world through their own, through their own journey of discovery, as if I'm seeing it for the first time myself. On this day, on the celebration of my 50th birthday, I wish for you, my cherished friends and family, to experience the same, uh, the same deep satisfaction, joy, love, and wonder that I have. To open your eyes and acknowledge that despite whatever ups and downs you may go through, you are in fact loved and have, and have found your purpose, as have I. Thank you. Okay, let's get the music back on.